My friends, many people do not understand what it means to wait on Jesus Christ. You see, when they pray, they go and they think that because they have prayed, Jesus has to answer them. It's like the mentality and the attitude they have. It's like when they pay for a commodity at the grocery store. Now immediately, because you've paid for it, you have to get the commodity or you have to get the item. You see, or because you go to the ATM and you push a few buttons and the money comes out. You see, or because you go and you press a button and the screen changes. You see, or because you hit the accelerator on the car and the car starts to speed up. You see, or you push this button and the page changes. You see, they think that because this is the attitude they go to Jesus with. You see, and what needs to happen, my friends, is we need to humble ourselves. You see, when you sit under a tree, it's up to the tree and the wind to conspire together to give you the breeze. You don't have any authority over that. Now, that's just symbolic, you see, of, of how you, you go to God. When the sun comes up, you don't do anything to make the sun come up. You see, you enjoy the sun because it comes up and you have to wait on it to come up no matter what you do in the night the sun is going to come up when the sun is going to come up you see you have to humble yourself you see so this is the attitude you have to have when you go to Jesus Christ you've got to wait on him you see the world and all the technology of the world and all the different lights and gizmos that people are using uh, in, in, in tandem with all the knowledge that is abounding, the information age and all these different things that people have access to, you see, uh, they conspire together to make you think that this is also how God operates. You push the button and then God is going to respond to you immediately. My friends, this is not how it works. It works. In order for you to have a relationship where you're always in direct communion with God, with Jesus Christ, you have to change a lot of who you are in your heart first. Because if it's not the fact that God does not want to speak to you, it's the fact that if the presence of God will reveal itself to you, and there are certain areas of your flesh that have not been submitted, you are the one who is going to pay. You are the one who is going to suffer. Because flesh and blood will not glory in the presence of God. It's spirit. You see? So how do you bring the flesh to naught? First of all, you do it every day in your life by trying to follow Jesus' commandments, by trying to follow His will. And secondly, you confess your faults. You see, when you're in prayer, you confess your weaknesses. You remind Jesus that, you know, it's not by your strength. It's not by your mercy. You see, by your ideas and your ambition and your, uh, your, your power that you're entering into God's presence. You see, you're entering into God's presence simply because of His great mercy, not because of any righteousness that we have done. For me, when I enter into the presence of God, I remind God of how merciful He has been to me. You see, I don't forget the things that He has done for me, you know, from the, from the, from, 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 from the beginning. You see, even things that I didn't know that this is God's hand, when later on I realized that this was, this was God, this was Jesus. This was Jesus. I, the only reason why I'm alive is because of Jesus. I thought it was my own hands that helped me. But it was not my own hands. You see? So you humble yourself when you realize these things. You see? It's not a matter of uh, you pushing a button, you see, and then all of a sudden you're going to get an immediate response. They do that. The world is doing that. And they're doing that to program your flesh. You see? So your flesh is used to getting immediate responses. You see, any time you deal with wisdom, any wisdom, it operates slowly. It is quick to listen and slow to speak. You see, you've got to wait on it. It is you, you, we must diligently seek the Lord. It says, when God looked down on the children of men, and there was none did that, that did understand, some 50 if I'm not mistaken, none that did seek the Lord. You see, seeking the Lord means from the depth of your heart. You see, just because I have a problem, I'm not going to come to the Lord and start demanding, you need to do this and you need to do that. No. You see, 
or just because I have now decided to to start following Jesus now all of a sudden I start making a laundry list of demands it doesn't work like that my friends you see you can't tell the it's it, you can't tell the microbe you know to tell uh, 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 the author of creation you know this is what you're going to do no it doesn't work like that my friends you see we've got to truly humble ourselves it is in humility that Jesus is well pleased it is in meekness when we bow down when we humble ourselves now you see we are indoctrinated into a system into a world system that does not look favorably on humility it mocks it it laughs at it you see it 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 it, it calls it foolish you see but with God this is the greatest thing is to be humble and to be a servant you see so when you have to make your heart you have to make your put your spirit in this frame of thinking you see that I am nothing you see I'm ready to wait on you Lord you see you don't you see we, we have been in we have been inculcated in a system that tells you that you can get whatever you want and it comes instantaneously the thing with that is even that of the world according to the knowledge of the world is a fallacy because they just don't tell you what it's taking for you to be able to have that speed and people are addicted to that speed let me give you a very good example you see I have spent a lot of time in sports and uh, athletics and, 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 and many things it has been many different respects even business and things like that you see and I realized something most human beings want shortcuts they never want to understand things for themselves they never want to truly do what it takes to get what needs to be gotten they want other people to do the work for them you see so for example in the gym people come and because they, 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 they don't want to put the time and the effort they want shortcuts what do I mean by shortcuts number one they want to be told that you are great when they are not they want to be told that you look great when you don't look great they want to be told that all you have to do is take this and you lose weight all you have to do is take that and you become a a giant you see and some some avenues offer that kind of uh, 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 gain accelerated gain what do I mean by that steroids you see you take steroids and immediately you start not having to recover you don't have to wait for recovery anymore you recover immediately you see um, you take this you see you take this drug or that drug you take this shortcut or that short but the problem with this my friends is you don't see the end result you don't see that you are going to pay at the end now the difference with it is you don't pay when you're taking it you pay when you you get sick now or when things go wrong now you see you see that accelerated gain that I'm talking about meantime the one who is doing it correctly has to wait for five years you know to get a certain amount of gain this guy got the gain in two months three months four months you see now the same thing is true with Christianity we have fed these steroid ideas you see that you can just go and God is going to jump around to your tunes and you're going to you know he's just going to and what you've said in your heart is you are God and the one who you're calling God is gonna dance around your way of thinking my friends this is all going to fall you've got to humble yourself you see you've got to humble yourself and stop allowing these accelerated ideas that you don't understand the cost of them because when you ingest them and take them you're going to pay for it you feel great in the beginning the world will worship you just like anything else you know when you pursue money you you get you start doing things you have to do to get that money but you don't see what the cost is going to be what kind of shattering what kind of wreckage is going to happen uh, at the end of it you see people don't want to work hard they don't want to go and nickel and dime there what do I mean by nickel and dime you know step by step and learn that it's not about the gain it's about the journey you see the step by step every day what you're doing the little things that you do together you see okay I did this okay I did that it's not about just achieving Oh, I'm going to take a pill and all of a sudden that's what people want you see they push a button on the internet and the screen changes but they don't know what's what has gone into making that happen they're absolutely naive 
they don't know where the resources come from to put in the computers where the fiber optic cables are being laid in under the ground and who's doing that work and this and that they are just addicted to pushing the button on the screen and the screen changes they don't know anything have no understanding no wisdom you see so what they are is just a slave that has been told that you are God because you're paying forty dollars a month for internet access you see but you don't know really what's going on with the whole thing you see and at the end of it when it falls you will fall with it so my friends diligently seek the Lord wait on him humble your heart allow yourself to be humbled you see and when you go into the presence of God you have to have that humility look down my friends you see humble yourself and wait on him no matter how long it takes wait on him 